guys, I'm Kelsey. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. I primarily provide videos on health and wellness education and a mindset to help you accomplish your goals and live the life of your dreams. Welcome to another video and today we're going to be talking about what is in my gym bag. Okay, first things first, I need to be really honest, I don't have just one gym bag. I actually have two gym bags. Uh, reason being is usually I have one for upper body day and one for lower body day because I do typically train a powerlifting style. And so uh, sometimes I like to separate it that way. I only have to grab that one day's bag or whichever the case may be and I'm not dragging everything I need every day of the gym. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So first things first, we're gonna start with shoes. So I have two pairs of shoes that I, I like to lift in primarily. One are uh, these uh, Adidas um, equipments. Uh, they're a firm sole shoe. So I actually like to deadlift in these when I'm not lifting in my deadlift slippers. I really like those. Uh, the other pair of shoes I primarily lift in are my Reebok CrossFit's um, Powerbacks. I think these are like first generation. I've had these for a year or two so far, but I really like them. Um, they have a, a firm sole. I can actually Olympic weight lift in these because they have just enough heel on them. Um, but I primarily um, do my lunges and squats in these shoes because I do need a slightly elevated heel in order to perform that movement efficiently. Um, now, I will lift in other shoes, but that would have to be on days I'm not doing a lot of heavy lifting. Um, so, I do have a couple other pairs of Adidas and Asics that I do like to lift in. So, next up, we're going to talk about um, some uh, those deadlift slippers I mentioned earlier. So, these are from Titan Power Systems, and they are exactly what they look like. They're little bitty sl slippers with rubber bottoms that you can use to deadlift in. Um, sometimes, you don't want to lift in a shoe. Uh, for deadlifts because you don't want to have that uh, sole to lift it against. So this is a great um, tool that you can use to put on instead of wearing a tennis shoe. Um, you do want to lift in a flat sole shoe or something without a lot of cushion, especially for deadlift because you're lifting so much weight. So I recommend getting a pair of deadlift slippers or something else to, to deadlift in. So next thing that I have is I actually have a pair of snowboarding socks. Um, they're Columbia and I use these to deadlift in when I don't have my other socks. Um, they're, they're really long, they're about as long as a pair of soccer socks, so that way you can keep your shins protected. So the next thing I have are my wrist straps. These are from Titan Support Systems as well. They're um, super thick uh, just to be able to support your wrists, especially when you're doing low bar squats, bench presses, and any pressing movements just to help keep your wrist in that nice uh, wrist over the elbow straight there's the word i'm looking for straight uh position because you don't want to do this because it actually puts more pressure on your wrist so you want to actually try to press as much as possible like this okay next thing i have are my leg wraps okay these are actually pretty um pretty long this is typically unique to the sport of powerlifting. um you will actually wrap these around your knees in order to give you some additional support and uh, during your heavy squats. You will see some Olympic lifters lift them, but their wraps are not gonna be as stiff as these are. Um, these you do not use every day. This is primarily just for your like one rep max or your PRing. Um, you don't use these in everyday movements. Next thing I have is I have a pair of Beats and that's what I primarily use for my headphones unless I'm using my little Apple headphones and so that's what I primarily use to listen to because then I can drown everything else out in the world. Okay, next thing I have um, two pairs of knee sleeves. Um, the red pair, which is the first pair I'm going to show you, um, these are the first pair I bought. They're over two years old so they're kind of loose but I like to still use them on my not so heavy days just to help keep my knees warm. I've had knee surgery on both of my knees and so uh, this is just a great way to keep those joints warm so that way they can stay lubricated and move efficiently. Uh, this, these are also Titan Power Systems 
knee sleeves. They're a lot stiffer um, because they're new. Uh, and you just use them to have additional support in your knees and also to help keep that joint warm. Okay. Next thing is a bench press board. Um, two board, one board, uh, bench press board. You can use this when you're doing bench press movements um, just so that way you don't have to go all the way down to your chest. Um, it also just helps you work different ranges of motion within your bench press, also to protect your shoulders. Um, you'll see actually a lot of throwing athletes that will actually do a, a two board or three board bench press instead of a traditional bench press to help uh, protect their shoulders a little bit more, but still work this part of the upper body. Okay, next thing I have is, um, I don't know why I have this, this is my coach's little slingshot, and you actually put this on over your arms to help you lift more weight. So the trick is to actually do this, to have more weight in your arms while you're bench pressing um, and to feel that weight, but also to kind of do some confidence boost because you're actually lift, holding the whole weight at the top of the movement. This just gives you a little bit of spring at the bottom. So it's just more of a confidence booster. Also another way to stress the body and those muscles in that bench press movement. Um, this is my uh, coach's fiance slingshot. I'm borrowing it currently. It's a size medium and it's uh, from Mark Bell, how much uh, do you bench.com? Okay, next thing I have are some bands. This used to be a little hip circle band. I need to buy a new one. So now I just use it for upper body work or I'll tie it around my ankles. I have a really long one that I have that I'll tie and wrap around my ankles, but I use these primarily for warm up um, for my legs and upper body um, in particular, just to just to warm up because you don't want to just hop into a warm up without your muscles or your joints being warm because you're actually more likely to get injured. Okay, next thing I have in my gym bag are these Therapy Plus uh, little massage balls. I got these from my chiropractor MT um, in order to help work through muscles. So they're little big blue firm balls from, um, they're from Tune, Tune Up Fitness and you use these to help just work out your muscles just like you do with a like foam roller. It's just to help work those stress points and help get those muscles to relieve. You can actually take them out of the bag and use them or you can actually use them in the bag that they come in, which I'm trying to put it back in there so I can show you. And uh, if you do leave it in the bag, it's great because you can put one on either side of your spine and roll down the middle of your back until you find that spot in your back. Okay, last thing that I have is my belt. This poor little guy is well loved um, and well used. I've had it since I've returned back to my career in powerlifting. Um, I have used both a regular belt with the, the pin and, and then this is also a latch based belt. I prefer a latch based belt because um, it's just a little bit easier for me to get in and out of by myself versus actually having to ask somebody to help me to get out of my belt. It's also easier for me to adjust and I have slightly more control because I can either use the most the furthest out pin or if I need to be a little uh, tighter I can do here. One thing I do want to point out is I do not use a belt on every lift. The only time I use a belt is when I'm using super heavy weight between my 85 and 100 percentile that's max effort and I use it to push my belly against in order to help brace my core. I'm not using it to support my back. Let me make this clear. I do not use my belt to support my back. I use my belt in order to brace my core, which does ultimately press uh, to protect my back, but I am actually pressing my belly into my belt to support my entire core, to support my upper body and maintain that position. You're, you're not trying to lean into the belt like this. You are meant to breathe into the belt to support your body, okay? so. Please do not use a belt if you do not know how to use it with proper form because a belt does not protect you from injury. It is a tool just like everything else that I, I have shown you before to help you in your progress, okay? So, uh, last thing, I do try to keep uh, some like travel packs of some supplements, uh, BCAAs and protein in my bag just in case um, I don't have it and I keep the shaker bottle normally as well in my water bottle. Well, that is everything that is in my gym bag. If you have any questions, please uh, comment them down below. I'm gonna link everything that I can below or something close to it, so that way if you'd like to grab anything you can, um, feel free to use the links below to support me so I can continue to make these videos for you guys. Um, until next time, I will see you, bye.